What is going on guys, Obzent here bringing you another Gears of War Judgment video. Now today I'm going to be bringing you guys the first video in a set of three videos I'm going to be making looking at player movement in Gears of War. Now the first video that I'm going to put out for you guys today is sensitivity. I'm going to run through my sensitivity settings, I'm going to talk about all that kind of good stuff um, and how to find sensitivity settings that work for you. The second video that I'll put out will be looking at strafing and variations on strafing and the third video will look at wall bouncing and variations on wall bouncing. So let's get into it guys, I'm now going to show you what my controller is set up to and we'll have a look at my sensitivity settings. Okay, let's go into it. Invert Y axis is off. My invert X axis is also off. My omnidirectional evade is on. My look sensitivity is on 22. Target sensitivity is on 17. Zoom sensitivity is on 13. Vibration is off. My sticks, triggers, and control scheme are all set to default. Now, I'm going to go in and I'll explain what each sensitivity type does. Okay, so the first one that we come across is look sensitivity. And this one controls how, how kind of how freely the camera moves around and how quickly it moves around um, when moving your character with the right thumbstick. It, it's very important for blind firing and can also kind of um, determine how easily you can wall bounce. I'll talk about that in the last um, video, the part three on wall bouncing. So as you can see, I'm just running through um, settings of look sensitivity in groups of five. And you'll see um, throughout these little videos here that as you go up, it the player or the camera starts kind of doubling back around the character. Um, for me, once it gets up around 25, that's just way too fast, you know, drop it back down. Um, but there are people that play very well on high sensitivities. So it is each to their own. Um, I'm, as you saw, I'm sitting on about 22. Now the target sensitivity. This is very similar to the first sensitivity. Um, the only difference is it controls um, how freely and how quickly we move around when holding in that left trigger or hard aiming um, or targeting kind of like that. I, I have mine on um, 17 and I kind of feel that I can trace the player fairly well and not kind of dragging behind them or pushing ahead of them. Again, I'll just show you in groups of five as we move up through the sensitivities. A good way to find your sensitivity that works for you is just take it in small groups of five, work your way up. If it's too fast, drop it back. If it's not enough, bump it up a little bit. Um, but as we can see, we get up around 20, 25 and 30. Um, for me, I think you're overshooting a player when you're you're up at that and you're less accurate. Again, some people might play really well on it, so again, it is each to their own. Now, the last sensitivity that we have is zoom sensitivity, and this controls um, how freely and how quickly we can move around when looking through the scope of a gun like the one shot, the marker, and the long shot. Yeah, I think that's the ones. There could be more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that controls, and again, I'm just running through the sensitivities um, in groups of five. This one is the one I generally like to have at the lowest. I have this on 13. I find if I have it way too high, um, I just I get twitchy and I kind of can't sweep around and nicely take people's heads off, kind of. But again, it is each to their own. So just find what works for you the best. Um, I'll just do a quick one here. If you see on 30, it is all over the place. And if anyone can actually hit someone on 30, I will be very impressed. Okay, so that was the first video I wanted to do. I wanted to do sensitivity first because I think it's going to kind of create a nice um, building block for us to work off for the next two videos. I will be referring back to this video a little bit about um, terms and sensitivity things that I've talked about in this video but anyway guys the next two videos will hopefully be up within the next week I'll hopefully put out one of these videos each week so within two weeks time both videos will be up and the movement um, lessons or the group of three on movement will be up so keep an eye out for those videos thank you very much for watching guys uh, like comment subscribe and all of that good stuff and again, I will be bringing you heaps of new videos, maybe getting back into some Gears 3 videos. Keep an eye out. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all later. Thank you very much for watching.